Classification of medically important bacteria. This is based on the presence of cell wall and its feature. So we have rigid thick cell wall bacteria means bacteria which have rigid but thick cell wall and then we have flexible but thin wall bacteria also known as pyrocytes and then we have wallless bacteria mean the bacteria which do not have cell wall so this is the basic broad category of bacteria classification based on the feature of cell wall rigid thick cell wall bacteria which is the first category as we discussed uh, they have further classification which is non free living mean that they require host for their growth obligate intracellular parasite they are also called so they are totally dependent on the host the non free living and then there is another category which is free living they can also live outside the host so they are free living extracellular bacteria and the example of non free living are rickettsia and chylamidia and then free living extracellular bacteria examples are gram positive gram negative and acid fast remember gram positive and gram negative organism further have cocci and rods which are circular and rod shaped bacteria where is the acid fast organism best example is mycobacterium tuberculosis which causes tb in humans then we can further discuss the details of each of the bacteria discussed here like gram positive so the gram positive bacteria which is a circular shaped bacteria coming under category of free living bacteria and this include staphylococcus and streptococcus species so the staphylococcus is responsible for causing abscesses of the skin so it causes pus it is a pus producing organism abscesses pus in the skin and other organs whereas the streptococcus causes pneumonia pharyngitis and cellulitis these are the common representative disease of streptococcus and then we have the gram positive rods which further can be categorized into spore forming rods and non spore forming so first we will discuss the spore forming rods they form spore spore are the structure which are found in very resistant conditions and uh, it has further categorized into the aerobic and anaerobic so first we will discuss the aerobic an example is bacillus and the disease caused by such aerobic bacteria is anthrax and then anaerobic organism the representative organism is clostridium and the disease caused is tetany gas gangrene and botulinism these are the different species of clostridium which causes these diseases then we have the final category which is the non spore forming rods coming under the category of gram negative organism and so the non spore forming rods do not form spores these include filamentous and non filamentous category the filamentous organism have filaments like structure and these include actinomycetes and nocodia actinomycetes and nocodia causes disease like actinomycosis and nocodiosis respectively and non filamentous organism include cornibacteria and listeria which the cornibacteria causes diphtheria is the representative disease whereas listeria monocytogens causes meningitis as the representative disease so, then gram negative cocci which comes under the category of free living bacteria comprises of further two types of bacteria which is nigeria gonorrhea and nigeria meningitis so nigeria species causes disease gonococcal infections and meningitis respectively so nigeria gonorrhea causes gonococcal infections which are the reproductive tract infections and nigeria meningitis will cause meningitis which is the inflammation of meninges which is a layer of meninges around the brain and spinal cord so this is the representative disease caused by gram negative cocci now the gram negative rods category of uh, bacteria which have rod shaped further include facultative bacteria aerobic bacteria and anaerobic bacteria we know that aerobic bacteria and anaerobic aerobic require oxygen anaerobic do not require oxygen and facultative can survive in both environment now the facultative bacteria further comprises of straight organism and curved we will discuss first straight organism the straight organism include respiratory 
tract organism zoonotic and enteric related respiratory are those related to respiratory tract mean lungs and those regions and respiratory tract related organism examples are hemophilus species bordetella and legionella all these causes respiratory tract infections and zoonotic organism are organism related to animal sources and examples are brucella francisella pasturella and yersinia and then we have enteric related organisms these are related to our gastrointestinal tract and examples are salmonella shigella enterobacter proteus isecherichia coli klebsiella and these are some examples and then we have curd gram negative organisms the curd gram negative organisms include uh, helicobacter campylobacter and uh, then we have vibrio all these are curd organism helicobacter causes gastritis and peptic ulcer is a very common disease caused by helicobacter pylori and then we have campylobacter which causes enterocolitis which is a gastrointestinal tract infections and vibrio cholera is the representative disease cholera is a diarrhea a form of severe diarrhea watery diarrhea aerobic gram negative rods include the bacteria like pseudomonas is the best example and uh, the disease caused by the pseudomonas is pneumonia which affect the lungs and uh, then we have the anaerobic gram negative rods the bacteria which do not require oxygen and the best example of anaerobic is bacteroids and the disease caused by the bacteroid is peritonitis then we can discuss the acid fast organisms acid fast the best example is mycobacterium tb and the representative disease of mycobacterium is tuberculosis and leprosy tuberculosis affect the lungs and leprosy affect the skin then we have non free living obligate intracellular parasites the organism which are totally dependent on the host for nutrition and growth examples are chlamydia and rickettsia as we discussed and the representative disease of chlamydia is urethritis cytokosis and trachoma and uh, cytokosis affect the lungs trachoma affect the eyes and then we have rickettsia uh, where important diseases representative diseases are mountain fever typhus q fever these are all diseases caused by rickettsia species so that's the whole detail of uh, rigid thick cell wall uh, bacteria category we discussed the free living and the non free living in complete detail now we can discuss the flexible thin cell wall bacteria bacteria which have flexible but thin wall and the examples of such bacteria are treponema species borrelia and leptospira treponema the representative disease of treponema pallidum is syphilis borrelia causes lyme disease and leptospira causes leptospirosis so these are all examples of flexible thin walled bacteria which are also known as spirochetes finally we have wallless bacteria bacteria which do not have cell wall and this last category of bacteria best example is mycoplasma species and the disease caused by mycoplasma is pneumonia which affect the lungs so mycoplasma causes pneumonia and so with this we finish the all the detail of medically important bacteria